good morning in this video i will explain you the program arranging the elements in order using array of n 32 bit numbers so as you know arranging is nothing but sorting so we have a different sorting techniques you can use a bubble sort or selection sort or quick sort or merge sort in problem statement they are not specified a particular algorithm so you can use uh, any of these algorithm so in this program we are using bubble sort algorithm because all of you are familiar with bubble sort algorithm so we are applying bubble sort technique in this program so you can see the program and this program is arranging elements in ascending order you can do either in ascending order or a descending order so here we have a array called c values where c values is the name of the array and in this array we have a 32 bit numbers so you can see 4 1 3 2 these are the 32 bit numbers and uh, because uh, these are the 32 bit numbers so we have to use dcd is the assembler directive first thing so whenever you want to apply bubble sort technique you should know the two things so one thing is a number of passes and other thing is a number of comparison see normally we have a four elements in the array and you should remember that we need n minus 1 passes so we have here we have a four elements so n minus 1 means so we need three passes and again in each pass there will be some number of comparison here we are assuming pass 1 pass 2 and pass 3 so in pass 1 there will be n minus 1 comparison means three comparison in pass 2 there will be n minus 2 comparison nothing but two comparison and in pass 3 there will be n minus 3 comparison that is nothing but one comparison so we have to find out this first number of passes and then number of comparison then how the logic works bubble sort logic works here this is the given array see normally in bubble sort algorithm you can see the red color numbers so first initially in pass 1 you can see the pass 1 in pass 1 we have three comparison first comparison is 4 and 1 second comparison is 4 and 3 and third comparison is 4 and 2 so when you compare first comparison 4 and 1 you need to check the condition if first element is greater than second element then you have to swap the number see 4 is greater than 1 so we need to swap 1 and 4 then second comparison is second and third element that is 4 and 3 again condition is same 4 is greater than 3 then you need to swap 4 and 3 then third comparison is 4 and 2 then again 4 is greater than 2 then you need to swap the elements so this ends the pass 1 and one thing you need to observe once we complete the pass 1 so biggest element in the array is placed at the end of the array so biggest element is 4 that is comes at the end of the array so when we ignore the 4 then remaining elements is 3 because 4 is already in the right position for the order for the ascending order so no need to worry about the element 4 then remaining elements is only 1 3 2 okay so we have to go to this second pass okay in second pass 4 is already over then only remaining is three elements so we need two comparisons that is comparison 1 and 3 and comparison 3 and 2 okay in first comparison in pass 2 1 and 3 is compared again 1 is not greater than 3 so no need to swap the elements so we keep 1 and 3 as it is then 3 is compared with 2 then 3 is greater than 2 then we need to swap the element 3 and 
So now, once we complete a pass to, then second biggest element will be comes at the last but one position. So three, then three and four in the right position. No need to worry about three and four. Then we have to check only one and two whether it is in order or not. Okay, as for this example, in pass to it is in right order all the elements, but still our algorithm is not complete. So we have to go to the next pass that is pass three. So we need to compare one and two, first and second element. So first element is not greater than so no need of swapping. So once we complete each pass, you should remember one thing: always comparison will be begin with first and second element only. Every pass comparison begin with first and second element. So once we complete this logic, then finally after completing all the passes, in last pass when we complete a comparison. then we will get the array element in order so this is the logic we need to apply the main thing you should remember is number of passes and number of comparison in each pass that is very much important see now this is a c value array okay here we have a c value that is one array and d value that is another array so c value it is a core segment memory and d value it is a data segment memory so whenever we want to swap two elements from the memory location we cannot swap directly from the core segment memory so we have to copy that core segment value into d segment memory so for that so we have a program you can look at the program at the beginning okay see here this is the program and you can observe the c value memory here i am assuming the address of the c value is 3 followed by 7 zeros then the next element address third element address and fourth element address similarly d l value memory location address starts with 4 followed by 7 zeros okay now initially a d segment memory is empty we have to copy all these value from the c segment into d segment memory because of swapping purpose so here there is a code from this statement to till this statement we are not doing any logic with respect to bubble sort algorithm this logic is simply it will copy the content of c value memory into d value memory so for that we need a address of the c value memory that is stored in r2 means r2 points to the starting address of the c value memory and r3 points to the starting address of the d value memory you can observe here r2 points to this address and r3 points to this address here load means the content of r2 position is copied into r1 what is the content here 4 that is taken into register R one here I will use R one and value is four. So you will get that first value, first element in R one register, and uh, next statement is the same number is stored here. Store the content of R one into the memory location whose pointed by R three. The R three points to this memory. That value is stored here. then see once you copy the first element which is pointed by r2 then uh, that particular address is incremented by 4 bytes means uh, this will points to next location similarly once you store that element into d value r3 points to the next address after copying the first element and storing it then subtract one from r8 register because r8 is holds the count how many elements are there in the array now first element is copied then subtract one from the count then compare count with zero because till count becomes zero we need to keep copying element one by one 
so now count is 3 see r8 is uh, 8 and uh, okay initially it was 4 once uh, first element is copied then decrement the count by 1 then it becomes 3 means still 3 elements are there then 3 is compared with 0 3 is equal it will check the condition not equal 3 is not equal to 0 s yes, condition is true control goes to the label loop 0 again same procedure it will copy the second element and it will store it in the uh, d value memory similarly it will copy third element and it will store like this it keeps going so first uh, 4 is copied then 1 is copied then uh, 3 is copied then 2 is copied see after copying all the element from the c value to d value r8 becomes 0 because every time you are decrementing content by 1 so finally all, all elements when we copy all elements then r8 value becomes 0 then this condition fails because 0 is compared with 0 and you will check the condition not equal but as for here r8 is equal to 0 this condition fails then control goes to the next statement now you can observe in this program i am reserving r4 register is for the number of passes and r5 register is for the number of comparison just you can observe here where r4 is a number of passes and r5 is number of comparison okay as for this example how many passes were required three passes so directly i will take the value three into r4 register then how many comparisons we required in pass one again same number of comparison in pass one that is three only n minus one comparison so here i will take three passes in r4 register and same value is copied into r5 because number of comparison in pass 1 will be same as number of passes. That's why I have copied R4 value into R5. Then, so once you copy all the element from C value into D value, then you have to refer the D segment memory, data segment memory for fetching and swapping the elements. So whenever we want to swap again, to comparing purpose directly we cannot compare the element by using the memory location so we have to take these elements into some of the register see in the pass 1 elements to be compared is 4 and 1 so we have to use some register for value 4 and 1 value 1 so here in this program I am using some register just to go through the program see R2 and R3 register is used for comparison purpose. Then you have to copy first value in R2 register and second value in R3 register. See that value is 4. 4 is taken into R2. and one is taken into r3 because first in the pass one first comparison is between four and one so we have to take four in r2 register and uh, three in r3 register okay now elements are compared then after comparing it will check the condition bls branch if less than or same already we have discussed this in a previous program that is uh, finding the largest or smallest element means it will check the condition branch if less than or same means if r2 is less than or equal to r3 is this condition is true r2 is what it is 4 is it less than r3 is it less than 1 no condition fails when condition fails then Control will never go to loop 2. It will go to the next statement that is swapping. So these are the two statements str and again str. These are the two statements for the swapping function. Just to apply the logic you will come to know. Means 4 and 1 will be swapped. So here it goes like this. 4 will come here 
in the next memory and one will come here swapping happens after swapping then add r4 comma 4 means we need to fetch the next element because 1 and 4 is over now next is a 4 and 3 so for that we have to increment index by 4 why we need to index by 4 means because each 32 bit number will takes 4 byte memory so we have to increment 4 then subtract r5 comma 1 and result is stored in r5 what is there in r5 so in r5 we have number of comparisons see in r5 number of comparisons are there so one comparison is over so we have to decrement this by 1 so it becomes 2 then compare r5 with 0 because until all number of comparison over then we have to check because once comparison becomes 0 then that is the end of the pass one okay r5 is 2 2 is compared with 0 then it will check the condition branch if not equal b n e as condition is true 2 is not equal to 0 then control goes to the loop it comes here then second element that is 4 is taken into r2 4 is taken into r2 then next element is 3 that is taken into r3 then 4 and 3 is compared again condition fails then it will swap the two number that is 4 and 3 will be swapped like this see here 3 and 4 then after this comparison then again comparison is decremented by 1 then comparison becomes uh, number of comparison becomes 1 then 1 is compared with 0 here after decrementing then 1 is not equal to 0 condition is true again control goes to the loop then next element is copied into R2 and R3 so in R2 it will come uh, element is 4 and in R3 it will come element is 2 then 4 and 2 is compared and again condition 4 is less than or same no control uh, condition is false then again it will swap the elements so once you swap the elements so 4 and 2 will swap then 4 will come at the last then comparison is decremented by 1 again then comparison becomes 0 now this particular pass in pass 1 all the comparison is over then it will check the condition r5 with 0 now is r5 is not 0 no condition fails it is 0 now okay once all comparison over in pass 1 then we should decrement the number of passes by 1 because r4 holds the number of passes so now here r4 holds the number of passes and this is decremented by 1 then it becomes 2 means still 2 passes are there ok then once you decrement r4 then compare r4 with 0 because all number of comparisons becomes sorry all number of passes becomes 0 then we need to stop the program ok again condition jump if not equal 0 as r4 is not equal to 0 control goes to the label start where is that label start again r4 value is taken into r5 now you observe it what is r4 r4 is 2 means in past to how many comparisons we need just you can observe two comparison see r4 value is 2 right but in past two we need two comparison but we have to copy this value into r5 because r5 is resist, uh, reserved for the comparison if you take the same value here to here then it will become number of comparison in the next pass that is the logic it is applied for every time means for all the passes so again this becomes 2 now you got 2 comparison in the second pass the meaning of r4 equal to 2 and r5 equal to 2 means it is in second pass then 2 number of comparisons that is the meaning
Now, okay, once we take that value, okay, start one, copy, then D value. As I told you already, when we move to the next pass, the comparison always should begin with first and second element. That's why we need to reload the address of the array into R1 again. Then this process ke keep repeating until R4 becomes 0. and R2 becomes 0. Once all number of passes is over and all number of comparison is over then that is the end of the logic. Then finally we can look at the sorted elements in the D segment memory. This will be the sorted elements. It will be available in the D segment memory. Thank you.